Okay, so watch this. I was selling my drone on Facebook, right? And I advertised on Facebook and somebody asked me, is this available? And I say, yes, it is available. I said, okay, is the drone working perfect? And I said, of course, everything is working perfect. Uh, he said, okay, all good. Um, he was asking me about the price, the shipping price. And he said, obviously, he lives in, in the UK. And I said, send me a location. Uh, he sent me a location, uh, Kate Cochran. I don't know how to say that, but... Yeah, whatever it is, um, I was kind of being suspicious already. Um, he sent me the shipping address um, and uh, I asked him, do you like the drone? Um, and I said, send me the money. Uh, I told him it's about 150 euros. And I said, okay, good. And I sent him the pictures and all that, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, can you make the shipment this morning after I make the payment? And I said, of course I can. Uh, so immediately I knew he wanted my bank details um, and I told him, no, um, you can send me on Western Union because I can't just give you my, my bank and details. So it's important not to just you know, give people your bank details. You know, it's, it's really important. A lot of scammers out there. So the conversation went on um, and I was asking him, oh, are you there? And uh, he said, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he wanted my IBAN and my email address. So I did a little bit of digging and uh, kind of had this kind of experience in the past. So I asked him, do you know Banner Boy? <laughs> so I know a lot of you might be asking, you know, who's Banner Boy? So, and he said, I don't. And I said, Olga, stop scamming people. Your parents didn't raise you so you could become a thief. I pray for you to have peace and learn to be patient in your endeavors. God loves you, man. Life can be tough, but don't lose your dignity. Work hard to be creative in good ways. Look at Banner Boy, Tanny, Whiz Kid, they are doing very well. Now stop tarnishing the image of Nigeria because of your laziness. Take care, man, and God bless you and repent from this bogus life. Now block me. He said, okay, thank you. And for say, for what? Stop stealing. Judgment will come and say, for preaching to me. And I said to him, it's not worth it. You're my brother. I want the best for you. And they asked me, are you from Romania? And I said, yes, but originally from Zimbabwe, Africa. And he said to me, okay, I can see. Where are you from in Nigeria? Because I did a bit of digging and I found out he was a Nigerian. And he said, the country is bad. How long have you been scamming people? I asked him. He said, no job. And I said, I know, I know. I could try and help you in the right way if you're going to be honest to me. He said, I just start when everything is hard. And uh, I kind of could, you know, could feel that this guy was trying to scam me. But, you know, we just have to kind of make a world a better place. Um... And I understood he's in dire need of money. And he said, I'm an honest person, but the situation in Nigeria is, you know, harming us. And I said, God created you as a beautiful human with a caring heart. Life circumstances often lead us in the wrong way. He said, yes, brother. And I said to him, I hope I can be able to help you. Maybe start something for yourself and not this business. It's not right. And I said, I'll be so happy because I'm not happy with what I'm doing. So I asked him to send me his email address. I mean, if I find somebody who can help you, I'll definitely hit you up. And I told him, obviously, I could never judge him. He sent me his email address and all of that. And uh, what's your number? And uh, he gave me his number. Um, you know, we exchanged numbers, uh, all of that. And uh, he gave me his email address. So, but what's important is that I told him, I want to say a prayer for him. I say, here's my prayer to you. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you to pray for my brother in Nigeria where he's facing tough life situations. I pray that you remind him that you are salvation and all his endeavors will be granted only if he walks in the true righteous ways. I pray that we can help him turn around his life for better and help him be a living testimony. Dear Lord, this day we rejoice knowing that you redeemed your son. Well, he could face jail and be imprisoned, but I thank you, Lord, that you have brought him out of bondage. One day, this man will be an icon because you, Jesus, touched his life. I love him as a brother, and life will be great sooner in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. So I prayed for him, and I prayed for him. Thank you very much for listening, guys. And I know it's been said over and over that it is important not to share your banking details to anybody online. And just keep that in mind, guys, that there's a lot of people out there trying to scam your hard-worked money. So take care and God bless you.